Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new episode of uh, Steampunk. Oops, sorry, uh, we already have our guns which we make on the last episode. Now, that's really important, guys, because uh, we are progressing on the series. Now, the next logical step, of course, is going to be going for the brass era. So let me show you very quickly how uh, I'm planning to do this. And as you can see, well, we need to acquire brass. Now, brass is done in the mix, I think it's going to be the easiest way possible. And we are going to uh, need a copper ingot and we are going to need zinc and we are going to put it on the mixer. But to do that, of course, we are going to need yeah, a, a blaze burner. Now, to do a blaze burner, well, we only have two options. One of them is to obviously make an empty blaze burner, go to the nether and either right click on a, a spawner, on the blaze spawner, or right click on the blaze to capture it. So, are we ready to go to the nether? Well, the answer is no, but there is another possibility, my friends, and that is through a villager. We can actually get a villager, if we can actually capture one, put a drill into a house, and at level 3, trading with emeralds will give us a blaze burner, which does exactly what we need. So... With that in mind, my friends, these guys, well, need a special conditions to live in. So I think it's time to get going and make a nice house. Well, my friends, I think it's going to be happy with the little house that we created. So the next thing, of course, is going to get a villager. Now, what can we do that? Well, let me show you very quickly. If you remember on the first or second episode, we found this pyramid in here. And if you remember, we found a villager trapped in there. I'm hoping they still is going to be there. And I'm hoping we can actually capture it. Now, to capture a, a villager, well, we are going to use a very simple mechanism. And that is the quantum catcher if you are following my series in uh, well here on youtube you will see that i am absolutely fan of the quantum catcher and i'm going to show you how to make this very quickly so to make a quantum catcher well the only thing that you need is a spawn of scraps and a arcane crystal block and arcane crystals are not that difficult to find especially if you come at night and kill some mobs in this mod pack, you will find plenty of that and you can make a cube. So, with that in mind, my friends, I think it's time to go and see if we can capture the uh, villager. Okay, guys, so here we are at uh, the uh, pyramid. And I remember that uh, we may have this... Uh, Oh, we have we had the engine here. I remember, yeah, yeah, that we are we are doing the rest in here. I remember that we had a um oh down here. I think there was yes, yeah, down here. Oh, yes, yeah, still there by the way. That's going to be very interested in this. So can we capture you, my friend? Oh yes, we have. And you know what? Now that we are here and we have a new gun, why don't we explore a bit more this area here, just in case that we missed something? Well, we may have, we may haven't, but uh, worth to give it a good go, guys, to see if we can actually find something else, which, uh, to be honest, I don't think that we are going to because we looked on the first episode, but nevertheless, uh, may as well give it a good go. No, I think that this is all sorted uh, pretty much. Good. That uh, is the tip of the pyramid. All right, well, uh, it is what it is, guys, but I think that now we have the villager with the quantum catcher, we can actually get going to see if we can find that blazer. So with that in mind, time to go back home. And I've been followed by these little guys once again. Oh, my goodness. Not too sure what these guys want. Oh, my goodness. There you have it. Okay, well, uh, that is dead. And uh, what we got? Uh, rotten flesh. Well, there you have it. Now, uh, what we need to do, of course, is place the mechanical drill and definitely the uh, villager that we uh, just uh, catch with the uh, quantum catcher. So this is going to be interesting. So the first thing, of course, let's get some food going. 
has got to be important as well. But uh, uh, independently of that, what we need is to uh, make the uh, mechanical tree, put it in situ, so this villager can take the job. And I'm hoping, guys, that this is going to work the way that I think. By the way, quick trip, a quick tip, I will say, is that you can actually place a trap door in front of the main door of the house. That way, the uh, villager won't escape. That's going to be important as well. So keep that in mind, guys. Very, very important. So uh, with that in mind, uh, drill is in there. Let's see if this guy is going to take the job. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Straight away. Took it. Thank you very much. Uh, Russell. Hello, Russell, level one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. Yeah, okay. So we can actually have raw sink. And ingots. Well, okay. Um, what can we do with this? Uh, we are going to level him. That, the idea is to level this guy up as much as we can. That is for sure. So um, he says, uh, is uh, level one in there? Let me see. If we can actually level him up quickly. We can grab some of those. Um, yeah, level one is still. So hopefully we can actually level him up. Oh, wait. We already unlocked something else. Torches. Blast Furnace, you know what? Well, I think I'm going to take some torches. That is for sure, because torches are important, guys. And now I have a full stack of those. Uh, maybe we could do with a furnace as well in there. And uh, maybe what else? Well, I think the iron is going to be a priority here as well. Although uh, I'm wondering if we can carry on grabbing... Um, these torches because these guys have to level up and once he gets to level three well my friends then we can be able to do the things that we need to do okay guys as you can see now we have the blades uh, banner thank you very much russell oh yes sentient fireplace my goodness that took some time and certainly some emeralds look at these 10 plus furnaces i got 50 rosing plenty of iron ingots oh my goodness but as i said this is a very very good uh, way of doing this Oh, let me get up of here. Let me shut the door as well so everyone is safe. And hopefully, Russell, you will stay there because we are going to need you at some point. Nighttime is coming, guys. Let's go sleep and carry on in the morning. Okay, guys. So, a uh, new day. We are going to need a uh, copper ingot and we are going to need zinc as well. And I'm pretty sure that we have some around here somewhere. If we can actually uh, find it. Otherwise, we are going to have to make some uh, um, ingots. And that is probably what the idea is going to be so let's make some ingots and uh, we are going to get this uh, blessed partner going as well okay guys as you can see we have now few ingots in here which we are going to grab thank you very much and now i think it's time to go and get uh, ready the rest of the process and that is of course to get this blessed partner going something else i need to do at this point is to make some uh, spruce planks because we are going to use to fuel the blazer that's going to be very, very important as well. And I think, my friends, that we are going to place the blazer right there. There you have it. That's the place sign there. Thank you very much. Now, to fuel it, well, we only have to do is right-click on it. And you can see on the top left corner, they have a cooldown, 25 seconds, 24, all the good stuff. And that's pretty much how it works, guys. So, with that in mind, uh, let's grab some of this uh, copper and zinc. Let's make sure that the blazer is blazing. Like, uh, yeah, for a few seconds like that. Let's go place those and those. And that, my friend, well, should do the job for a second. There you have it. We have brass ingots. Oh, my goodness. Thank you very much. As you can see, real alloys. Thank you very much. Oh, this is just, it's it just, it just so good when things work. Look, this is working. Oh my goodness, guys. Well, we have plenty, 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 as you can see here. Let's grab all of it. Oh my goodness. It definitely is going very, very well. We have plenty, plenty, plenty of uh, brass ingots, which we are really going to need. It's critical, guys, that we get these things going because with the brass... Oh, let me show you very quickly. We are going to be able to make a lot of different things in this new era. And as you can see, well, from brass casing, which is going to be really, really important. Uh, a brass knife, by the way, we need to make a knife uh, of this type because it will help us to gather more leather when you kill an animal and all that good stuff. You have all these uh, really cool things that you can do. Oh my goodness, uh, plenty of things that we can actually use uh, for a uh, brass sticky launcher, <laughs> jump like a rabbit. I'm pretty sure we are going to play with all these things. But as you can see, well, 
it's definitely a very very helpful to uh, to to do brass because uh, well it is and that's the end of the story we have some more uh, copper in here which we're going to need thank you very much I, I, I need those thank you very much and as you can see well we got 16 of those brass ingots uh we could actually finish those as well uh, me as well and that thing is going to carry on producing now uh, more uh, brass ingots but uh, uh, very simple uh, remember guys that you don't have to go to the nether we completely bypass the nether by doing this and i think it's a good strategy guys uh, to avoid well uh, yeah putting yourself into compromise to go to the nether so early into the game and if you want to get brass uh, early game well that's the only solution that i can think of which is going to really really help you oh my goodness well we got 34 of these things now something else that we need to do at this point as well is to get the skill books going because we haven't done it for at least few episodes guys and uh, that's important that we keep an eye on these things as well because eventually yeah they're going to help us big big time so as you can see uh, we have xp banking here i'm going to store everything in here but we have lots and lots of uh, different look, 31 levels that we can actually apply so let's go for uh, abilities we have the uh, crafter by the way which is like uh, uh, crafting on a stick so you always have it with you very nice thank you very much and here are the skills guys and so what we're going to do we have the attack speed i think that i'm going to oh we oh we need to get the xp out uh, by the way oh my goodness okay so we need to get the sp out i forgot to do that from the bank so we are going to take everything that we can everything now is uh, ready to be spent oh my goodness this is so complicated guys and uh, let's go for the skills okay so uh, attack speed and we are going to upgrade it to 10 maybe we are going to have a nice um a speed attack which is, <laughs> is very nice thank you very much uh, something else i want to do is the mining upgrade to 10 as well at least that is going to improve what else i think that we had a uh, soft landing yes please that is going to go to level 10 as well oh my goodness 10 out of 10 and decreases the fall damage if player falls from high place with max level he will survive okay so we have a max level now thank you very much uh, so we should be able to survive on that one and you can see now the little uh, um, metal in here has been uh, produced so it tells you that you are maximized on that what is this a strong fist increases melee damage dealt to any entity i wonder if we are going to have here one that will actually get into the uh, guns that would be great fast swimmer that could be an interesting one a uh, king of the ladder increases the climbing speed of the player on ladder well not really important that isn't lipa increase the jump height hmm you know what i think i'm going to get five on here as well because why not and uh, pv pr pr protection not to show what that is and a strong fist is going to be i think the next one i think and with that my friends well we have pretty much all sorted in terms of the uh, skill so let's store everything back in here good progression in there another night has arrived guys we need to go sleep hey okay, guys if you remember last episode as well we uh, created the regulator pistol and i couldn't find the uh, barrels but they are under the ammo tab for whatever reason i i would you know think that you will find it under attachments but anyway it is under the gun barrel we could make one of those as well and so uh, let me see what else we could do now that we have some uh, brass as well i wonder if anything else is going to unlock in terms of being being able to do it but as you can see well we don't have much we have plenty of bullets by the way we have an additional two uh, bullet pouches as well that i looted from uh, mobs down the caves my goodness guys uh, it definitely is very very interesting mod pack so if you can get a hold of it yeah you should play it my friends because it's really really good okay so uh, with that in mind i think that at least Oh, there you go. Brass gun barrel for brass ingots. You know what? I think it's, I think it's worth to, to do that one. Okay, let's take that one. And with that, my friends, shift plus Z. And as you can see, now we have this interface where we can actually add and modify attachments. And we are going to get the barrel going in there. Why can we not use it? This doesn't seem to fit. It doesn't fit to this specific gun. So what about then? If we create a, a iron one, hmm, I wonder if that will help. Let's make one of those, shall we, guys, and see if we can actually make it. 
Okay, guys, and now that we have plenty, plenty of iron in here, well, let's grab a few of these things and see what we can do with it. Uh, in addition to that, well, we know that the brass gun barrel doesn't work, so let's uh, put it in here for a second. I'm going to uh, save my uh, brass ingot as well in here. Next episode is going to be busy, guys. We are going to make uh, different mechanisms as well. We are going to use fans, all the good stuff. And we have this little terrapin in here. Not too sure what it's doing, but it's moving in. That is for sure. So let's see what happens if we can actually make this iron a barrel because it would be interesting to see if that will fit or not and as you can see if we go back to it uh, let's assemble that one we already got it in here let's select our gun shift plus z opens the uh, uh, the interface again and it doesn't that's very strange and i wonder if this gun doesn't accept any barrels hmm which is interesting indeed um and yeah, we could actually have configuration options as well we can install in all that good stuff, but that is a bit surprising that we can actually do it. But uh, what we can say is that we have a very good uh, uh, gun at the moment. And just wanted to show you guys that, you know, you can carry on doing things. Don't forget to upgrade your weapons or even make new ones if you really wanted to. And now that we have the brass, my friends, a new wall of possibilities have been opened. So in the next episode, guys, we are going to carry on with the brass era, building more mechanisms. And I hope to see you there. So there you go. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next daily upload, guys. Until then.